Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome to episode number 64. I'm sorry this one took a while to get out. I was on a five-day vacation, so that's the reason this wasn't posted on Saturday like normal. So before I start this one, I wanted to mention something. You guys will see this on the screen really quick. In the last video, I mentioned that the previous one finally hit 1,000 likes, and I was really excited for it. And then this happened, guys. 2,300 likes. I don't even fucking know what to say for this. Thank you guys so much. Um, it's just crazy to see all this support. So we're going to start this video by doing a mole. We are at 883 KC and we are going for 2K total kills. Also, I did want to mention something. I am wearing a fire making cape now. The reason I'm doing that is because it acts as a light source and it gives plus four prey bonus because it is a trimmed cape. And since I'm praying nonstop, that prey bonus is nice. And since it acts as a light source, I don't have to have an inventory slot for it. So it saves me an inventory slot. So just as something that if you guys don't want to use a fire cape, another um, alternative to use it mole. I can't remember if I've shown this in a video to you guys before, um, some of you guys might not know about this, but if you have 99 thieving and you have full rogues, you can actually pickpocket about 20 Raynar seeds per hour, so if you do need prey pots on your Iron Man account, this is probably the best way to get them. Um, if you pickpocket the one north of Artie, you can get it trapped in this corner, it's really annoying to do, it might take uh, 10 to 15 minutes, but once it's here, basically um, it'll stay in the corner for I believe 5 minutes before it despawns. So you can see here, spam click it, make sure you guys get a timer up, and after five minutes, just step back one step, and it'll uh, move out of the way and then go back into the corner. So you can basically sit here and AFK it for like 143 dose prey pots per hour. So just a cool little tip for you guys, I don't know how long I'm going to be doing this, but I do need a lot more prey pots to actually hit the 2k kills that I need. So I figured this would be a pretty decent uh, place to do an update. There is actually 1,000 total mole kills, so we're doing 2,000 right now, so I guess we're halfway there, but overall I do want to do 3,000, so technically we're about 33%. I'm probably going to be doing um, what I did on my last Iron Man when I did mole, and I'll be showing you guys probably every day. I'll be doing updates every day on it. It should only take me two and a half more days. Uh, tomorrow I'm probably going to try to do like five or 600 kills to knock it out pretty quickly. Uh, still no mole pet, 1,000 kills on this account, 3,001 on the other account, so we are still uh, 4,001 total kills without the mole pet, and the drop rate is 1 in 3k, so hopefully I can still get that. And that is the end of day one, we got about 340 kills, so it's nowhere near like the five or 600 I mentioned I was trying to get. Um, I am streaming all of this, so it's kind of hard to flick piety, I have to be very careful with it on stream since I'm reading chat, because if I misclick a little bit above it and turn on retribution prayer, then my protect from melee actually goes off and then I'll die, so I get a little bit less kills per hour when I'm streaming, I probably get about 45 on stream and I get like 60 off stream, so that's the reason that I didn't really get as many as I wanted to. So I'm really sorry for this. I know this happened in one of the previous videos too. I'm going to try my best to never do this again. You guys will probably notice that the quality is a little bit shitty. And that's because I did take these from my stream once again. Um, it's a little better than before because it's set to 720p, but it's blurry for some reason. But that's the reason for the next few clips that's going to be kind of blurry. So 2,000 kills completed, guys. I made it without dying. Now it's time to go and trade all of these claws and skins in to get some bird nests. If you guys don't know how to do this, you can basically take all of your uh, noted drops to Weiss and the Gardener in Falador, and you can select an option to get all the mole parts into boxes. So you'll get seed boxes, you'll get empty nest boxes, and you will get ring boxes. So you kind of have to pray that you get a lot of uh, nests. Sometimes you can get screwed by like 30 or 40% rings. I'm hoping to get near 20 or under 20% rings. I can't remember what I got on my other account, but we'll see if it's good. Alright guys, so we did get lucky here. I got 902 ring nests, which is actually really, really good. It's a very low percent. I did get, I think, 300 total uh, empty nests because I did start with 646. And then we opened this and we got 4796 bird nests. So it's a really, really good percentage. I actually had to go back and look at my old uh, loot video from all when I did the 3000 to get this tab set up of all the seeds that you're going to be getting from this. So this is all of what I started with. I'm going to be writing it down and then seeing how many I have after and letting you guys know some amounts of XP that I got. So make sure you guys look at the screen right now and remember how much of this I started with. But I do have 4,700, like I mentioned, nests to open. This is going to suck ass because you have to do it all manually. But I'll see you guys back when it's done and hopefully we get some good seeds. So it took an hour and a half of non-stop clicking nests to finish opening all these. It sucked ass, but I got it over with. And you guys will see in my inventory all of the loot I got from the kills, including the iron ore and the U-logs. I did get a lot of runes as well, but I didn't write down how much I started with. But I did get deaths, laws, and uh, bloods. So you guys will see me clicking through all of these really slowly on the screen right now so you can see what they are. Um, I do have 59.98 from 2k kills. I mentioned to you guys it was about 3 on average per. So I was a little bit under that, but it's only 2, so it really doesn't matter. 
but I'm really happy with the outcome. I'm actually going to go and price check this right now too to give you guys some math on um, how much actually GP I made per hour doing this if you were a main. All right, so here's a lot of stuff to remember on uh, my notepad to tell you guys for this one. So here's the price check. It's 60.7 mil. So that's a lot of GP, a lot more than you guys probably expect to get from doing mole. On average, I'd say this took me probably about 40 hours. So that would mean that I got a total of 1.51 mil GP per hour. Now, if you take away the cost of the pots and everything, I was making about 1.35 mil per hour. So if you guys have DH Max Melee and you want to make some quick money, make sure you go and do mole right now. I don't know what it's going to be like after this video if people hear me say that, but it is definitely a lot more GP per hour than you probably thought it was. So if you take all of these seeds I got, excluding the herb seeds, this is just counting the watermelon seeds and all of the tree seeds. It's 4.7 mil farming XP I have banked, so that's really good. It's about on track of what I expected to get once I finish out doing the 3k kills. It should be around 7 mil farming XP. But we're taking a break from mole now. I have some other stuff I want to do. I will do the other 1,000 kills in a little bit, but it's just nice to get it over with and have all of this loot in my bank. Now that we're taking the break from all, I'm going to be moving on to doing some cooking. It's kind of random. I do just want to try to get my stats up to get to 2k total. So I'm going to be training some of the easier stats I have. Um, I'm actually going to be doing mess hall, but I'm going to be starting off by um, actually using all of the grapes I have from when I tested that whole fletching ordeal thing. I do have probably about 200k uh, cooking XP baked in grapes. And the reason I decided to do mess hall instead of this is because every time I check now, the grapes are at a, like a 2 to 5 stock, and it's not really worth it unless they're at about an 8. So we're just going to be doing some cooking through mess hall. All right, here we are back with the best part of doing wines. You get to see the XP drop. So we got a 184k XP drop, which actually got us 76 cooking and very close to 77. So I'm going to head over to Mess Hall. I'm not too sure what level I'm going to be going for yet, but I'll figure that out and probably show you guys a little bit of how to do it if you uh, actually have never done this method before. As I mentioned before, if you've never actually done Hasidus Favor, you actually do have to do this for 100%. Uh, it's the fastest way and it takes probably like five minutes to go from 45 to 100%. So if you actually do this method, what you're going to be doing is creating pineapple pizzas. So you make them and then you put them on the table and you get probably between a 4,600 and 5,000 XP drop each time you do it. And it takes maybe one to one and a half minutes to actually do the whole process. I'm not going to be showing you guys the whole thing because it does take a pretty long time. If you guys want a guide on how to do this, go to YouTube and just search up Mess Hall Guide and look for the uh, one created by Navis, N-A-V-U-S. He's actually an Ultimate Iron Man with 200 mil cooking, and he did it through this whole uh, process, so he has the best way uh, to do it for the most XP per hour. I was planning to do this to like 85 or 90 cooking, but I have to stop at 80. This is just way too click intensive, and I need a break from it. I did get, I think, 500k total XP doing this, so I was here for a little bit over three hours. I think I forgot to mention this before, but you get about 150k XP per hour from doing Mess Hall 2. You can get like 160, 170 if you pay full attention to it, but if you're doing it pretty lazily, it's about 150k per hour. So since I am going for 2k total, I'm going to go and do some runecrafting. I've been meaning to try ZMI for a pretty long time. It's a little bit of a weird cut between that last clip. I have my inventory set up here. I might change some things out since I said I've never done this before. This is going to be my first time attempting. It, but I think this is a pretty decent inventory setup. Uh, you guys will see all the runes in my bank here. If you've never done ZMI before, basically it gives you a bunch of random runes when you um, use the altar. And for what the mine runes are doing in the bottom of my inventory, it's because you have to pay a 20 rune fee to actually use the bank when you come back over here. So you kind of just want to use all the shitty runes you have in your bank. Currently we are 59 rune crafting. I plan to do this to 70. Um, I think that's a pretty nice place to stop and then I'm going to go back and do some more mole kills. I don't know how far I'll get before I end this video because I do want to upload it. It's been I think like 12 days now. So I'm doing this for a little bit over two hours. I'm getting about 30k XP per hour so it's pretty good. I'm also up to 61 runecrafting. I'm halfway to 62. So not much gain since the last update. I did want to upload this video so I'm going to be ending it here. But if we check the bank right now, we are up to 559 cosmic runes and I started at zero so I'm getting maybe close to like 250, 260 cosmics per hour. So my plan with the cosmic runes is all of these are going to be going into spellbook swap when I do my farm runs because I do want to do all of my farm runs on lunars. I do not plan to do battle staves as I mentioned to you guys before. If you do remember, I want to do charters for 99 crafting because there's a lot of other methods to get GP now. I should get around 10 to 12k cosmics just from doing ZMI, which is really nice as well. If you're wondering why I'm doing ZMI instead of lavas, it's because ZMI also gives you more XP per essence. And I only have 80k. If I were to do lava runes, I'd need 120k pure essence. And of course, doing this, you get more useful runes as well instead of just lava runes that are going to sit in your bank and never be used. 
But yeah, that's going to do it for this video, guys. I'll show you my ranks on screen as well. I did drop in time to max, and that's because I was gone for uh, the five days. And as you know, I was doing moles, so my stats really weren't going anywhere. So it was kind of natural that I was going to be dropping in that. But hopefully soon we can go back up when I start doing some herb. I'm actually going to be live on Twitch as this goes live. I'm going to be doing some ZMI on stream if you guys want to come and chill. I don't know when the next video will be. Hopefully I'll try to stick to a week, but we'll see what happens. As always, thank you guys so much, and I will see you in that next video.